So I'm gonna open both bottles and do a little tasting along with you. So you can kind of hear what the, note, the tasting notes are and then I'll give you my opinion on each as well. So we'll start with the 14. So it is a 14.3% alcohol content. Um, the grape, the grape, it, the region is the Mendes, is Mendocino County. It is supposed to be ripe black cherry and red, ripe black and red cherry, spice, sage, earth, vanilla, and chocolate. It's a drier wine, um, medium high acidity, medium body, medium low tannins, and it has a long finish. And the flavor is also Ripe black and cherry, spice, sage, earth, vanilla, and chocolate. And it has this pairing, bacon-wrapped roast turkey roulade. That is the recipe that it offers to pair. So that's what another cool thing about these weekly tastings is that they also give you recipe suggestions for what you can pair with the wines. They give you all these, like I just went over all of the tasting notes. So if you were really into wine tastings or you wanted to, you know, have friends over for a wine tasting or really kind of know your stuff and look like you know what you're talking about, the weekly tasting is a really cool way of discovering new wines and really learning more about it as you taste. So now I'm gonna open up the 2015 and I'll taste them side by side. So now I will pour 2015. Um, so the 2015 is a little bit higher in alcohol content. It's 14.5%. Um, it is more just the red cherry rather than black and red. It has spice, hint of earth and vanilla bean. Um, its flavor is super ripe red cherry, spice, hint of earth and vanilla. It, has, it, it is again dry, um, medium low body, medium acidity, low tannins, and a medium long finish. So the two have not super, super large differences, but there is going to be more of a black cherry to the 2014 and more strictly just um, red in the 2015. All right. All right, so that's really delicious it is it's a little tart and I guess that's obviously from the um from the cherries I yeah like that a lot so it also gives you a little fun fact about the year that this 2014 it says 2014 was a drought year that produced small a small crop of grapes which means less wine was produced However, these wines are ripe, dense, and very concentrated in flavor. All right, let's move on to the 2015 and see what we have going on here. Really, I don't taste too much of a difference. Um, like I said before, they are pretty similar in flavor. The only real difference is that this has more black and red cherry, and this is just um, the red, the ripe cherry. They both have that vanilla. This one has a little bit more depth to it, which I understand where they're saying that it has the chocolatey taste to it. I definitely like the 2014 better. Okay, good. Both delicious though, but 2014 is a winner for me. Um, probably gonna have to pour another glass of that one. Well. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this first weekly tasting. Um, I'll be back again next month with a whole new box of wine and a new weekly tasting for you. Maybe um, next time I will create one of the recipes or have some appetizers or maybe even a friend. For now, I will leave you with a good a cheers.